Deep in the forest, in the river, lived a large crocodile. He was a very selfish crocodile. He didn't want any other creature to drink or bathe in the river. He thought it was his river. Every day, he shouted to the creatures of the forest, Stay away from my river. It's my river. If you come in my river, I'll eat you all. So there were no fish, no tadpoles, no frogs, no crabs, no crayfish or any other fish in the river. They were all afraid of the selfish crocodile. The forest creatures kept away from the river as well. Whenever they wanted to drink, they walked for miles and miles to drink in other rivers and streams. Every day, the crocodile lay on his big back in the sun, picking his big sharp teeth with a stick. But one morning, the forest was woken up by a loud groaning sound. Something was in terrible pain. The creatures thought it was an animal caught by a crocodile. <coughs> But as the sun came out brightly, they saw that it was the crocodile that was in pain. He was lying on his big back, holding his jaw which was swollen, and he was crying real tears. The creatures drew closer, but not too close. Some of the creatures felt sorry for the crocodile. What's the matter with him? asked the deer. I don't know, said a squirrel. Maybe he's going to die, chirped a bird. If that happens, it'll be safe to go in the river, grunted a wild pig. Suddenly, a little mouse appeared, sniffing into the air. He ran along the crocodile's tail and then onto his tummy and all the animals were staring. Look at the mouse, chattered a monkey. He's either very brave or he's mad. He's going to be eaten for sure, said an iguana. But the mouse crept along the crocodile's big neck and into his open mouth. There was a hush in the forest. The mouse got hold of something and he pulled and pulled and pulled. And then he put it on his shoulder and walked out of the crocodile's mouth. There was a loud cheer from all the animals. Hooray! The crocodile sat up and said, I don't feel any more pain. It's all gone. And then he saw the mouse walking down his tummy, carrying an enormous crocodile tooth on his shoulder. Your bad tooth was giving you toothache, answered the mouse, turning around to face the smiling crocodile. Do you want it back? Oh, no, 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 he said. Get rid of it. And when you've done that, come back. I've got something for you. So the mouse went and he buried the bad tooth under a tree. And when he came back, the crocodile had a nice juicy nerf waiting for him. As the crocodile watched the mouse eating the nut, he said to him, You were very clever getting rid of my toothache. And you're kind too. I am so grateful. And what shall I do if my toothache comes back? Don't worry, said the mouse. I'll help you take care of your teeth. And soon the crocodile and the mouse were the best of friends. And one day the crocodile sent all the animals an invitation. Please come to drink and bathe in the river. I won't hurt you. The river belongs to us all, he said. The creatures weren't afraid to drink and bathe in the river anymore. And although the crocodile was sometimes snappy, they grew to love him. And soon the river was full of fish and tadpoles and crabs and crayfish.